YouTubers, it's Casual706 here with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today I have the hard to find Transformers Generations RC. Now RC looks like her counterpart from the 1985 I believe Transformers the movie cartoon. Uh, this is for the thrilling 30's line Transformers Generations. As mentioned, these are pretty hard to find, I believe. Uh, at least in retail, they're hard to find. Most people are having to order them online. So, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. We we noticed that she comes packaged with a comic book back here. has some really badass artwork of her with a, holding her pistol and smoke coming off. And she has a really menacing look on her face. And uh, we see she's packaged here with her weapons. I believe she can use these as either swords or as guns. She's got her hand pistol. And she has the, the small blaster. Uh, it really looks very similar to the one that she kind of had in the cartoon movie back in the day. And they show her in a depiction of her car mode here. I'm going to flip the package around. Uh, now again it shows the toy in both, both versions. She's like a futuristic little pinkish car. Uh, she's got her sword slash gun things on the side and they show her here uh, holding one as a rifle and there's her pistol. Now uh, she has a, a bio right here in the top left corner. The bio reads, RC is one of the most dangerous Autobots. Despite her comparatively small size, she believes the Decepticons must be stopped at all costs. That belief combined with her combat training makes her a pure warrior a hunter who mixes speed and sudden action to strike Decepticon targets whenever she can. She also has her listings of strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, courage, fire blast. And so we'll go ahead and open the package so we can get a closer look at the toy itself. So we'll slide her comic out and let you just take a peek at the comic. I'm not going to open this and and fan through the pages for you guys to read it. If you want to read the comic by the toy, absolutely nothing on the back of the comic whatsoever other than the authentic Hasbro and IDW logo. Stand the figure up here so we can get a better look at it. So the, as mentioned, these can be used as swords for her. We'll put that put that in there you can make her have her dual wielding her her swords Oop. pop that back in here you can have her dual wield her her swords and whatnot that'd be her with her swords here then they don't appear to double as guns or yeah you could I guess there's a little small small tab here and you could kinda post it up on her shoulder like that you could do it as a gun I see she's got some some tabs on her arms here so you could peg them in like like that maybe like she's got arm machetes or something you could pose her with the with her gun and the and the little sidearm sword like that I guess. So and the gun works in either hand. So it's like that. The one I'm gonna have her and it looks like those also can tab into her arm. There's all kind of little weapon options with this. You can peg it into the side of her arm here so it's a side arm uh, her leg it looks like you can peg it in so it's like she's got a gun like she's got a gun holster here carrying the gun on the side looks like you're gonna be able to do the same thing with the other side and with her pistol so she could have those and be carrying the swords too that gun will also tab into the the side here there's there's like a ton of <laughs> there's a ton of options to to plug her weapons into weapons aside we're gonna look at the figure and go through the transformation so she does have quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of posability here her head has 360 degrees of motion 
the uh, shoulders here, you can come up quite a ways with them. They can also swivel around 360 degrees. The uh, bicep region looks like it will. It does also have three, 360 degrees of motion, and of course we have a have an elbow, an elbow with the figure, we, so we can bend her elbow up. The legs. There's not going to be a lot. There's not going to be a lot of lift uh, this way. You, that's about as far as you're going to get it out because her thighs are so big that it won't push past her waist section. Uh, you can kind of pull it out a bit, but it looks really crazy, kind of like that. Now her her knee jack, uh, knee section does have 360 degrees of motion, and she's also got the knee there. And uh, you can lift her leg forward, but you can't go sideways very much. So you can get you can get quite a few poses out of you can get some karate kicks and stuff if she's properly properly stanced and then her foot section here is a little bit of swivel with that so you can get get some kind of poses out of it she has a little heel spur there to to better support weight uh, the only thing that was kind of bad about the figure was the backpack you do get the backpack with her it's like she's carrying the hood of the car on on the back of her So, yeah. and then the back there. That's the only bad part about it. She kind of had, she kind of had that backpack, backpacky kind of vibe going on uh, in the cartoon movie, though. So I'm not terribly hurt about that. I guess it's okay. I think they did pretty good. It looks very accurate to the to the cartoon movie. It's a, a pretty awesome figure. Now she, of course, comes packaged with instructions. I'm going to go ahead and fan those by the by the camera for you to take a look at. The instructions are just going to tell you how to turn her into her car mode. So, these are actually like, like that. So that's the front of that. She's going to be like 10 steps to get to, a, to her car mode it looks like. And then on the back, they show you how to go from the car back to the robot mode uh, in the in the ten steps. Not much to these instructions. I'm just going to go ahead and put them off to the side. So to get her into her vehicle mode, the looks like the first thing that we do is that her heel spurs here are going to fold up like this. So we just fold them up. Both of them the same way. We get them flushed with the back of the cow there. Then the hood section should kind of let it go here. Yeah, okay. So the hood section lets go. That lets go of the head and all. And it's going to kind of fold up into here. There we go. So you get that. Now this, uh, that's the, her little abdomen section. That's going to fold under back over her head. Then with her hands out facing down towards her hip section. Then it, it look, so I guess the legs just kind of pull out, swivel around up to the the front of the vehicle like that I guess and then uh, ah okay so this will fold out here and then it just yeah clicks in and tabs in the in the place there yeah and the legs just fold forward the arms just kind of kind of tuck up under here I don't ah I do see where they could kind of grab Maybe. There you go. Two little small tabs. Just kind of grab them and that, that gets it all together there. So that's what you end up with as far as the, the car mode. I must say this is a lot smaller than, than I was thinking. There's not a lot of weight to this at all. This uh, 
feels like some of the Legends figures are are heavier than this. But it does look look pretty cool. It does look like the cartoon uh, movie version pretty well. So that's what you what you get there for Transformers Generations RC. So I'm going to close this one up. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another Transformers unboxing slash review. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned to my channel for more Transformer unboxings in the near future. Thanks again for the view, guys. I'm out.